Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to college football's first ever reality TV show. I'm your host, Cade Rathbone, and I advise you buckle up because it's time to go behind the scenes and straight into the action of keeping up with the coaches. Throughout this season, you will have a backstage pass for every press conference, recruiting battle, rivalry, and championship game across the nation. Within our conference, we have 16 total coaches, but today, you'll meet five of them. And I think it's time. Without further ado, let's meet the coaches. To kick this list off, let's start with the head coach of the Florida Gators. What? Is this Powder Puff? What are we doing? Coach Duck. Next, we got the head coach of the LSU Tigers. What's up, ladies? Coach Bounty. How we doing? Oh, you're not oh, oh. Mr. One Big Game of Year, how we doing? Mr. One oh, Big Game of Year! Good one, good one. For our next coach, we have a recent acquisition into the SEC, the Penn State Lions, with their brand new head coach. Hold on to the damn ball! Coach Scoots. Now, we have another coach making a conference-to-conference -conference transfer. This is going to be head coach of the Virginia Cavs. How do you address the rumors that you're moving to Ohio State? I'd like to begin by saying those are absolutely false. Like I said, I'll say it again, I'll say it a million times, I am committed to the University of Virginia. Coach, it's Adam Schefter. We think you know you're leaving, dude. Why are you lying to us? It's an NFL guy. I'm here in college. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Check your f***ing sources. Coach Davis. And then to cap this list off, we got a coach who's got expectations through the roof, thus the name. I introduce to you, head coach of the Oklahoma Sooners. What are we doing out here? Who is calling these plays? And Jarrell! What position do you play? Right guard or fat ass? Move your feet! Coach Expectation. Welcome in and welcome all. Thank you for joining us on Keeping Up with the Coaches. Today, you're in for a treat. We got a good old fashioned bad blood rivalry game. The Oklahoma Sooners and Coach Expectation go on the road to take on the Penn State Lions and their head coach, Coach Scoots. This is a massive game for both programs, but enough hearing about it from me. Let's go down to the field. We got boots on the ground and hear from the coaches themselves. I'm going to hand it off to my co-host, Carl. Carl is on the field. Carl, how are we looking down there with the coaches? Coach Expectation versus Coach Scoots. Talking about Coach Scoots, he's been talking a lot of trash all week long to the media. How his team is going to take on yours. How does your team respond to this adversity and the challenge at hand? We don't give a shit. We're, I mean, we're halfway to Mexico already mentally in this game. We're just going to win the whole thing. I mean, it's probably going to be a blowout. Uh, I've got my server. It's going to bring me a pina colada in the third quarter. So, yeah, not worried about it, man. Okay. Love that, Coach. Hey, you have a good day today. We'll see you later. All right. Howdy, America, and welcome in. We are here. Welcome to the main event of the evening. Here come the Penn State Lions out of the tunnel. The fans are ready and amped to go. Here comes the line, let them out the tunnel, let them out the cage. The boys are ready to go. These coaches absolutely hate each other. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, I see you out there. I see you out there. Scoots and expectation beef goes all the way back to the early 2000s since they were born. And today, they're gonna settle it on the field. I'm ready to go, I hope you guys are too. Let's get straight into this game. Our matchup, who's gonna get the ball first? They're doing the kickoff right now. We're looking at the Penn State Lions returning this one. And here we go, saddle up ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a game day. And they're off. Penn State back to return. 12, he's gonna return left. Going out, makes a juke move. He's gonna be taken down at about the 13. Here we go, first and 10. Drew Alar, the quarterback, snaps the ball. Screen, 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 screen! Getting about eight yards, he's gonna be taken down on the 23. The Penn State Lions, let me describe you their game. The running back, Singleton, the quarterback, Drew Alar, and the tight end, 44. Those are their star players, and they make a difference. Whoa, there goes Singleton up the middle, setting the tone for this Penn State offense, and they look good. Oklahoma does not have an answer so far, and Coach is losing his shit on the sideline. Let's see what they do here. Play action. Reading. Drew lets it fly. Caught by number two. Down the sideline. Into the end zone. Coast to coast. What's his name? Liam Clifford. Welcome. You're in the end zone. That's going to be six for the Penn State Lions. And they're going to take a lead over the Oklahoma Sooners. The Penn State Lions here to kick this ball off. And it's away. The Sooners back to return. 
And they're going to take a fair catch right here. It's going to start off at five. And look at this stadium, folks. It is loud in this stadium. Arnold takes a snap. Going right. They're going nowhere. That's going to be second and 12. And yet again, the boys are rowdy. They can't hear anything in this stadium. Arnold trying to make adjustments. Ooh. Is that a jump or a false start? That's going to be a false start for the Oklahoma Sooners, and they're in bad territory now. Second in California. Scanning. Throws it over the middle. Good throw right there by Arnold. Number three, not quite. It's going to be third and two. And look at this. Everybody's hand is in the dirt for the Sooners. Up the middle, a fullback dive. Did he? Ooh. Did he get that? I don't know. It appears it's a first and ten. Back in the T formation, a fullback and a cloud of dust just as God intended. They're going to throw it to the right. A loss of one right there. Interesting choice right there by the cornerback, Arnold. And now we're in second and 11. These are hard situations to beat, man. Scanning, looking. Throws left to the flat. No one is over there. And he's going to get the first down. Here come the Sooners marching down the field. They look good today, folks. And let me tell you, the Sooners, this is how their offense is built. You got Arnold, young quarterback, a sophomore, made to be the prophecy over time. And as the receiver, number three is their other star player. And they got one more star receiver as well. Oh, there's three. Speak of the devil. Down the sideline, another drag route. This is just wide open every single time for the Sooners. And they're going to exploit it as much as they'd like to. This man-to-man -man coverage does not work well against those drag routes. Here goes the Sooners. Up the middle. A solid gain right there. Ooh, Taylor Tatum hurt on the play. And it's severe. Not looking too good. What are they going to do here? No running back. The drag route looks like it's being covered now because they're in zone. How will they adjust on the fly? Arnold takes a snap. Just a missile down the middle. Wow. No change up. No curveball. Just straight gas. What a throw right there at Arnold. And now they're cooking first and goal. Making some adjustments. They don't like what they see. Four man front for the Penn State defense. Man in motion. It's an end around. Kind of pause. He's going to be taken down for a gain or loss somewhere in the middle. Looks like he's got a hip burstus. I, I don't know if I said that right. I'm not a doctor. That's why I'm talking to a camera. and <laughs> not, not quite a doctor, so I don't know what that means, but I assume he's hurting. Ooh, what a throw right there. A little stick right there out of the tight end, 87. Third and goal. And Penn State is bringing the heat. They don't want to run. Ooh, and it's a pitch to the left, and they were ready for it. Fourth and goal, what will they do? Here they go. Arnold is going to go for it. Snaps the ball. Looking. Stick route, can he get there? Just barely, touchdown. Oklahoma Sooners, number 87, punches it in. Let's go, good score. Good throw, good catch, good blocking. This is Oklahoma. High ball game right here, and uh, it can only get better from now. This game is now on the way. We got an absolute showdown here in Pennsylvania. Now, the Penn State Lions, you can look at the record, right? 0-3, they need this one. All the recruits are coming to this game. If they go 0-4, they could potentially all leave. Something to keep in mind. You start losing too many games, piling up too many L's, things can get ugly. If you got 10 recruits in one game, you ever seen, like, for example, the Florida-Miami game where all the kids were like, hey, like, come to this school. Oh, just a drunk goggle throw right there for Drew Alar. Almost a pick six on the play. But back to what I was saying, Miami-Florida. Miami beat the tar out of Florida, telling the recruits to come to Miami. That is what could happen here if you're not careful for Penn State. It's going to be an end around to number two. Breaks the tackle. Oh, number two again. Down the sideline. Liam Clifford making plays all over the place. Woo! Let's go, baby. Come on. First down. Woo! And they are now in enemy territory. Taking a sip. Not sponsored, by the way. Here we go. First and ten. Drew Alar. It's going to be a screen pass to the left. One blocker. He's got the one guy. Good juke right there. Another first and ten for the Nittany Lions. Here we go, baby. Oklahoma can't really guess where they're going at any time. We got a three-man front for the Oklahoma Sooners. Not anticipating a run, of course, right here. What will they do? A lot of checks. A lot of hot routes. Snaps the ball. Rolling right. Someone's there. Broken up on the drag route. Not quite what they wanted right there. They thought they saw something. Didn't get it. Second and nine. Here we go. Oh, did he catch that? Nice catch, nice catch right there by the wide receiver. I don't know how to hold on to that. Back in the pocket. Sling it. Ooh, what a throw. That was a risky one. But he got there. He connected. Just two could not haul it in after two great plays. Couldn't make a third. Here we go. Third and nine. Massive for the Penn State offense. Look it. Throws it over the middle. Drag route. Breaks the tackle. 
fourth in inches, and they're going to go for it. Massive play right here. What will the Lions do? Sooners making adjustments. I don't like what they see. They're going to check to a run. Let's see how it goes. Singleton up the middle. Great wall of China. Can he go? Nihau! Nihau! Punch it in, Singleton. That's going to be a touchdown for the Penn State Lions. They are on top. 14 to 7 if they put this kick through. Here come the Lions. They do not want to go in four, and they want to make sure those recruits stay on that recruiting board. They're fighting for their life with the back against the wall. you got to love to see it. we got a real game here today on the line, folks. Uh, here we go. Oklahoma. They're going to fear catch this. I'm going to take another sip of my water, hot water. It's good for the throat, I've heard. First and ten. Slings it to the right. Out route. 87. Taken down. Good gain of eight right there. Four minutes remaining on the clock in the second quarter. Arnold up the middle. Oh, goodness. Knock, knock. Guess who? Abdul Carter, number 11. Such a stud right there for the Lions. He is their massive piece on their defense. He cannot just be stopped. Keeping that freshman right tackle hell. Oh, what a throw to the left side and caught. Oh, we're back in the T formation. All the hands in the dirt. Guess what it is? You guessed it. Fullback dive up the middle. First down for the Sooners. It just cannot be stopped. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, let me tell you. Here we go. Motion right. Snaps the ball. Throws it. Heaves one. Lucky that was an intercepted. It was a star player out there on the right, so I understand that's a 50-50 ball. Take your chance. Now, second and 10. Throws the flat. Ooh, not good. Real good closing speed right there for the corner. We got a third and 10. They need this one. They need to at least gain some guards for an acceptable fourth. Okay? Cuts back inside. Should have cut out, but that's okay. Fourth and seven. They're going for it. They do not care. They want this win. Snaps the ball. Looking. Throws it. Not going to get there. Penn State licking its lips. The Lions are ready to go and trying to put themselves up by 14. Really swing this game. Number two in motion. The playmaking man of the day. Oh, up the middle, Singleton throws a man off him. That's going to be a first down for the Lions. Like I've said that 10 times today, they're looking good out there on the field. Oklahoma has no answers on defense. All right. Play action. Rolling right. Throws it. Missile. Ooh, what a catch there by 44. Tyler Twinkle, toes Warren. He brought his sketchers today. What a catch right there. They're going to challenge this one, Oklahoma, and see how it goes. It is going to be stands on the field. That was a catch. What a catch right there by the 44 tight end. Tyler Warren hands it off. Oh, Singleton escapes two people in the backfield and gains seven. Man, Oklahoma just two steps from making a play every single time. But Penn State is just on their A game. You can't beat great throws. And you can't beat great catches when it's great coverage and all that. They're just outperforming them on offense. It's simply, simple as that. Here we go, second and third. Second and third. I'm going to get fired out here. Second and three. Mm, interesting. I see a seam right up the middle. That could be open if it's cover two. It is not. Scanning barely gets it out. Now we're going to have a third and three. Looking good here for the center defense. They're trying to make some plays here. Keep them out of that third down territory to where it's easy to get. All right. Screen pass to the left. This is looking pretty good for the Lions. Yep, that's going to be a first down and some more. They are now on the 11, knocking on the end zone. Here we go. It's a run up the middle. Singleton. Good stuff right there. Second and three. They're averaging, I don't know, 11, 11 yards a play. They're looking good out there. Drew R. Making adjustments. Looks like a drag right out of that inside receiver. Throws the side. Ooh, good catch and throw right there. Couldn't quite get in the end zone. But it's first and one on the goal line. Hands the ball off. Ooh, 10. Tune your guitar and set the tone, baby. Singleton for his second touchdown on the day. The Penn State Lions are going to go up by 14. And this is not looking good for the Sooners. Coach expectation, I'm sure, is absolutely heated. They got a minute and 30 left to make something happen. They got two timeouts, luckily. Let's see what they can do. The kick is off. Eight catches. Let's see how it's going to go here. Looking like cover two here for the Penn State offense, or defense. 
Snaps the ball. Throws the left. Ooh, not quite. Incompletion right there. Pressure in his space. Second and 10. Snaps the ball. Scanning. Oh my. Drunk goggle throw again for Arnold. And he's ice cold right now. That should have been a pick. Third and forever. Pretty good pocket right there. Making something out of nothing. What a catch right there by 87. The tight end just reeling it in. Fourth and six, and they're going for it. All I can do is watch. Missile into double covered, and he reels it in. Number three, how do you do? What a catch right there for the wide receiver. Dropping back. Oh, not, oh. Can we block 11? He's killing us. You got to throw that away. You cannot let Abdul Carter get close to you in any of those kind of scenarios. Throws the ball up the seam, triple coverage. And that's going to be intercepted. It was only a matter of time with those kind of throws. Four. Oh, throws a man off him. And he's going to get this all the way to the 44. And can the Lions punch it in for one more score? 24 seconds on the clock. Look, he drew. Missile down the sideline. Caught. Jukes him. Breaks his ankles. Six is in for six. It's not a Wendy's four for four. It's six for six, baby. That's a touchdown right there for the Penn State Lions. And they're going to go up by 21. And it is not looking good. Now it is time for the halftime show. I'm going to throw you guys back to the field for Carl. He's got a halftime interview with Coach Expectation. Coach Expectation, how you doing? How you doing? Been better? Been better. Been better. Totally understand. Uh, we have a question for you. How do you plan on stopping Penn State's offense in the second half? Because it's been a whirlwind, as you know, in the first. Well, the worst answer I could give is I don't know, but that's kind of the truth right now. Uh, they're doing a lot, and we're doing a little. So we got to fix something about that in the second half. Uh, I'm pretty worried about my job security right now so Sounds good, coach. thank you coach see you the other half thank you call appreciate it brother now let's go into halftime and go through our show where we got the standings and the recruiting standings of our conference for our standings of these five coaches that you've met today first we got the lsu tigers they are three and zero on the season and leading the sec second we have the florida gators in that third position we have the oklahoma sooners and then following them the ohio state buckeyes and then to cap this list off we got the penn state lions at 0 and 3. the top recruiting school right now is the lsu tigers followed slightly by the florida gators next this is where oklahoma and penn state are really in the shuffle penn state while 0 and 3 has plenty of recruits still on the hook Penn State and Oklahoma are battling over these same recruits, believe it or not. A lot of these guys in the stands, half of them are shared with the Sooners. So this game is massive for the recruiting class. This concludes our halftime show. Let's go back to the real game. Let's see if the Oklahoma Sooners can make a comeback and win this game for their program and win over those recruits all at Penn State Stadium. Here we are back at half. We are ready to go. 28 to seven on the scoreboard but not as bad as it seems. If the Oklahoma Sooners can come out here and score a touchdown, they are back in business. Anything is possible. 89 on the return. Got to get all the way to the 14. And here we go. Sooners, what do you got, baby? Let's do this thing. Snaps the ball. Oh, 11 off the edge. Nobody can stop this guy. And here we go. Second and 19 for the Sooners. This one is looking rough. Arnold. Is he just sitting there, wasting time? I'm not sure. He's a little bit scared. Okay, there we go. Making an adjustment. Checking the field out, trying to figure something out. Snaps the ball. Catch with the left hand. Looking. Missile into double coverage. Intercepted by number four. And here go, it comes. Baby. Oh, baby. can go he Let's go? go. Ball. The, the way. <laughs> Touchdown. Penn State, A.J. Harris, a 36-yard pick six on the play. And Arnold is in big trouble with his coach. Expectation. Uh, let's go take a look at that now. If you keep throwing picks like that, you're hitting the portal tomorrow, Arnold. This game right here is looking pretty wrapped up. We got a one-on-one -on -one interview down on the field with Carl, my co-host. Carl, how are we looking down there, buddy? What does Coach Expectation have to say about their team? Sorry, man. Rough one today. Two back-to-back -back pick sixes, not how we wanted to end the day. How is Oklahoma going to bounce back from this later in the season? We got a lot to work on, obviously. Uh, he's playing cover two the entire time, and we can't do anything. The defensive line is penetrating our so-called so -called, so five-star offensive line, and then Jackson Arnold throws it to three blue jerseys every time. So I don't know what you want me to do. I'm so tired of this team. <laughs> Howdy y'all, thank you guys for watching this far in the video. We did something new. If you wanna support this show and this channel, there are three ways to do it and they are all free. One, 
like the video. I think it's right, right here. Like the video too, and much more fun. Comment down below, and for the comment, I want you to answer a question. What is your favorite tailgating meal, snack, whatever it may be? What's on the grill? What's in the cooler? What are we snacking on game day? Comment your favorite down below. The third way, subscribe to the channel. If you do all three of those things, this will help this show tremendously. If y'all enjoy the NFL draft and that kind of content, I'm making a video every single week all the way until the 2025 NFL draft where I cover Luther Burden III, Quinshaw Judkins, Ashen Genty, Shador Sanders, Quinn Ewers. It goes on and on and on. We got like 36 weeks of this. So I'm gonna get to a lot of recruits, a lot of prospects. I will link that right here. Not, not here, right here. And of course, it's on the channel. Go check that stuff out. And then last but certainly not least, the most important by far, and it's, it's pretty obvious, I got the best friends. They spent their hard-earned money on stupid polos and hats and visors. Their time, their only day off, their only Saturday morning and afternoon, yelling in the hot Texas sun at a camera for a make-believe team, for a make-believe concept. This whole idea, fufui, it doesn't exist. They did that for the sake of the idea, and they had a great attitude about it, and they killed it. I mean, even if it wasn't funny, like, they're taking their time, their money, they're hilarious. Go tell them down below how great they did. They deserve to hear it. They're the real MVPs of this whole thing, and they did such a good job, and I'm thankful for them. Thank you, friends. You know who you are. You are the best, and go tell them down below how good of a job they did, and I'm going to end on that note because it's a good one. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you more than you know. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, feels good. I feel like Sean McVay. All right, baby, come on. I don't know what this shuffle was. Come on, good shot. Three, two, three. Let's go, good score. Good throw, good catch, good blocking. This is Oklahoma. <laughs> Say this is Oklahoma football. <laughs> We're in Oklahoma. <laughs> We're in Oklahoma. Which matchup are you most looking forward to this year? I'll probably say against uh, UVA. It's going to be our homecoming match. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, and hey, Coach Davis, how far do you think the team's going to go this season? We'll see you at Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the national championship game. Be realistic. <laughs> Four wins. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Let's do that again.